Hello everyone, this is Gary Tonicourt from morethanasnapshot.com. Today I'm coming to you with a lesson about Lightroom Mobile. I'm going to show you how to use the develop module. If you look at the um, left side of the screen, you have your histogram. On the right side, you have all of your tools. When you hit the first button, you get the gradient tool and the radial tool. So right now I just clicked on the radial tool and I'm drawing out a circle around the number on the train and you can see that you can expand that oval and I'm going to then make that area a little bit brighter also adjusting the shadows and adjusting the position of the radial tool Okay, now I'm going to head over to the gradient tool. I just selected the gradient tool and I'm going to put it at the top of the image and draw it down some. And I'm going to go over to that sun shaped uh, tool on the right and uh, reduce the exposure and increase the contrast. And I will probably increase the shadows decrease the highlights okay I just close those tools now I can go on to the crop tool which is the next one in the list okay it gives me the crop border that I can adjust and then I need to click on the check mark on the lower right hand side all right that accepts the changes now I can move on to um, the presets. So these are presets that I had loaded into my regular Lightroom collection. So I'll try the cream tone, the sepia, I'll go through a few of them to see which I like. I had liked the old polar, but I thought it was a little too similar to the original, so I eventually head back to the selenium tone go through the options again and then I will select selenium and then click on the check mark okay the next one looks like a Sun and it has all of our exposure controls so here I'm going to pick up the exposure a bit without blowing out the sky or the steam adjust the contrast reduce the shadow no I'm gonna pull the shadows up it'll give it sort of an HDR look bring out a lot of detail in the train itself adjust the white point and the black point as you can see this is all very similar to to working in the regular desktop version of Lightroom. Here we have temperature. Since this is a black and white image, I'm not going to make any temperature adjustments. Clarity, dehaze, vignette. I will add some clarity to bring out some detail in the steam and in the train. I'm just trying to figure out how much I want to apply. Dehaze. I'm going to dehaze, and you'll notice that brings out some detail in the sky. And I'm going to darken. Uh, the vignette so again it'll darken the edges of the photo bringing out a little more detail I'm just adjusting the vignette Okay, the next one is just to 
the revert to a previous state in the photo. That is the before tool, and then when I let go, it shows the after, before, and after. Here you can see that there are options for your information and to see if you have any comments or ratings. That little cloud will allow you to sync these changes to the Creative Cloud. And that button allows you to share it and in this case I'll probably save it to my camera roll. I have my phone set up so that any photo saved to the camera roll will automatically be uploaded to certain cloud services so that makes things easy for me. Tapping on the three dots in the upper right hand corner gives me more options and in this case I'm interested in the show hide histogram because I want to be able to see the photo without the histogram in the way. And that's about it. I hope this little training helped you to experiment with Lightroom Mobile. And again, this has been Gary D. Tonnencourt from morethanasnapshot.com.